hello everybody and welcome back to my channel today is my september wrap-up video we are outside in the beautiful nature so you may hear some birds i have a lot of loud birds in my house so it is what it is so we are going to go through all the books that i read for the month of september i'm going to give you my ratings um and yeah all right here we go so for the month of september I read 14 books. I'm including the book I'm reading right now because it will be done before tomorrow is over with. So first off, started the month off with keeping 13. Five stars. Do we even need to ask? Um, I would tell you about this book, but it is a second book, so I don't want to spoil anything. But all I gotta say is please read this series. It is becoming one of my absolute favorites. And um, I'm excited to get my Saving and Redeeming 6, which will be here in October. Then I went into Pretty uh, pretty Reckless. In my September TBR video, I said that this was like a hockey romance. Um, I was wrong. This is football. And he ends up moving in with her family because his mom, like, he, anyway. So I'm not gonna tell you much because I don't wanna spoil it. But anyway, he has it set that he has to get revenge on her. Um, and anyway. I loved it. I gave this four stars. Um, this is a part of an interconnected like series, but I don't know if I will continue the series or not. I haven't decided yet, but you will, you will find out if I do. Then I went into still beating y'all this book. It's check your, check your trigger warnings. Cause it touches on some hard stuff, but it is about this girl and her um, sister's fiance. They ended up getting kidnapped together. And then I'm gonna stop from there because that's all you need to know. Um, I gave this five stars. It does touch on some heavy topics. There is a lot of like, it does tell you like what happened when they were in captivity and that can be triggering for some. So please, you know, check. But I love this book. Um, I went and I bought Lotus by Jennifer Hartman as well. So and then I went into Dear Love, I Hate You. This book did turned out nothing like what I thought it was going to be. Um, so basically, she, it starts off with her writing a letter to her teacher that's like, you know, why would basically saying that she hated her teacher. Um, and he ends up finding the letter and writing her back. And that's how their relationship starts. They have no idea who they're talking to. Um, he is her bully. They were friends when they were younger. And now he's like mean to her. And this turned out nothing like I thought it would. Yes, I loved it. I gave it four stars. But um, it was not as much of a bully like relationship as I thought going in. Um, so, yeah, but I liked it. It was really, really good. I highly recommend. Oh, and then the highly anticipated Man Magnolia Parks. I did um, crack the spine. I don't know if you can see that. And it broke my heart when I did. Um, so I gave this book four stars. This series is not for everyone. I've heard really great things and I've heard absolutely awful things about it. Um, I ended up enjoying it. It is very much like Gossip Girl, like people say. And this follows Magnolia and BJ. Reminded me very much of Chuck and Blair from Gossip Girl. Um, I'm excited to read Daisy Hates. I'm hoping to get to it in October. Um, if you watched my October um, TBR video, Daisy Hates because of the TBR prompts did not get added to my TBR. But as we all know, I'm a mood reader and I sometimes never stick to my TBR. I did pretty good this month, but I also added some things in there. So, but anyway, I highly recommend, um, there's not really a whole lot that I can say, except for it's like Gossip Girl. Just go into it thinking Gossip Girl, all the purple tabs is like when it described what she was wearing. And I just thought that was cool. So I just like to tab all the outfits. Oh my gosh, y'all, this book, five freaking stars. I am so mad at myself that I put it off for so long. Um, so she works for like this, I guess security, like, but it's more than security. It's like bodyguard, like the bodyguard, but it's a private company and she gets hired to be the bodyguard for this famous actor. And it just evolves from there. I loved it. It is such a cute story. It is closed door. So there is no spice if you're wondering. Um, and I loved it. I read this in a day. So freaking cute. Um, I would definitely recommend. Um, I've already told my best friend, like, add this to your TBR right now. <laughs> then you saw my video. I read Twilight. Um, I relived my childhood. No one needs to know what this is about because we've all seen the movies. But um, 
I gave this three stars. Surprisingly, I liked it a lot more than the movies. While we didn't get this Edward and Bella in the movies, I, I will never know because in the movies, they're very tortured. Um, and we know we've seen all of the TikToks of people making fun of the acting that Kristen Stewart did for Bella. But this book, so much better than the movies. We got comedy, like some of the stuff Edward said, I was like laughing out loud. And I was like, why couldn't we have gotten that Edward in the movies? And also Jacob didn't come in till like pretty far into the book when he was like there from the very beginning in the movie. Um, but I do plan on finishing the series. Um, I just don't know when, but it will get done. It will get done. Then my pride and joy, my favorite, favorite, favorite book series right now is The Naturals. Um, me and my best friend are reading this together right now. We have read the first two and then um, I'm going to pick up the third book in a couple days. Um, but I love it. This is a, it reminds me a lot like Criminal Minds. They're teenagers and because of the way they grew up, they have like these natural abilities. It's not like superpowers or anything like that. It's like our main character, she's really good at profiling people because she, um, traveled around with her mom who was a like psychic or whatever and her mom told her how to read a person like she does when she's um doing her psychic readings and so we've got a profiler we have one like a human lie detector she can tell if someone's lying we have someone who can read people's emotions and know what they're actually feeling and then we have one that's really good with numbers and statistics and things and i love this and um you actually in between chapters get the um because you know in criminal minds they call them the unsub but they say i or you when they're like actually profiling and in between chapters there is an actual case going on and you get the point of view of the serial killer that they're trying to catch so freaking good highly recommend this one was an off the wall pick for me and i gave this five freaking stars um so basically this is like like as, i don't know if you can tell but there were just quotes throughout this book that made me stop and think and it's like this story is a lot of things but mostly about idiots so it needs so it needs saying from the onset that it's always very easy to declare that other people are idiots but only if you forget how idiotically difficult being human is like that's just like it made me stop and think my husband told me It made me stop and think a lot. A lot of these quotes did, um, but I highly recommend. It is not like, you would think that this would be a romance. It's not, it's like, it's a bank robber who accidentally takes over a hostage situation. And then you, we get to know all the people that were in that situation very, very well. Um, you've got an older couple, you've got a father and son, you have um, a young couple, you have like, it is so good. So good, I highly recommend. Done and Dusted, loved this. I gave this four stars, I believe. Um, I'm totally in my cowboy romance era, like nothing can stop me now. Um, so this is Brother's Best Friend. She's She is a barrel racer and she um, comes home and it it's so good. So, so, so good. Um, I think I did really good. I read three of my books in the month this month, so they're not as piled up as they were. I'm very proud of myself. And then I went into All the Dangerous Things by Stacey Willingham. So basically, this is about a woman. Her um, toddler son goes missing in the middle of the night, and it's a year later, and she's still trying to figure out what happened to him. And she has trouble sleeping. So this is very much a, you get some unreliable narrator in this, um, but, the first like 30 40 percent going in i was ready to put it down and just you know sell the book but i actually once you get past that just it's like one after the other you have a podcaster that comes and is like interviewing her there's some stuff from her past that comes out like so good so good um and then i want to read the flicker in the dark by her um because i enjoy this one so much but um, I gave this one, I believe five stars, four or five stars, but it was really, really good. And I highly recommend it. I would read it for the spooky season. And then of course the second book and the natural series, I gave this five stars. I liked this one better than the first one. So I'm hoping that they continue to get better from there. Um, but you had a serial killer they were trying to catch in this one too. I think, I'm thinking all the books, they're going to have like a case that they're going to, you're trying to help, like you're seeing them solve in real time so really really good i liked it better than the first one hopefully the third one will be better than this one so 
we shall see. And then y'all know that I've been wanting to read The Six of Crows and I tried to read it, but I got confused because going in. And so I was like, I'm gonna have to read Shadow and Bone. I'm gonna have to read it so I can get some backstory so I understand what I'm reading when I go into it. Um, so I read Shadow and Bone, the first book. And I know that I said that um, I've heard terrible things about it and it's probably gonna be terrible and I'm just gonna have to suffer through. I actually enjoyed it. I gave it four stars, um, but a lot of people I've seen that like the first one don't like the other two, so we'll see, um, but I'm very surprised that I might have misjudged this book because <laughs> I enjoyed it, so we'll see if I like the second one or not, but the first one I, I did. So basically, you're following Alina. She was orphaned when she was younger, and she has a best friend, Mal, who was also orphaned with her. Um, they call the, the ones with powers, they call the Grisha. Basically, this is set in a country that's a lot, reminds me a lot like Russia. Um, but she is a map maker, like an apprentice, and Mal is a soldier. And within like the first few chapters, we end up finding out that she has powers. And so, you're following her story, and I really liked it, surprisingly. So, we'll see if I like the other two, but... And then the last book is Powerless. Um, I am currently in the middle of this, but it will get finished before tomorrow is over, so I'm going ahead and including this. Um, I don't know what I'm going to write it, but um, it's the third book in the um, Chestnut Spring series. Um, the last book comes out October 13th. I've already pre-ordered it, so it will be here whenever, on release day, hopefully. Um, but yeah, so I can't really tell you much except it's about, um, Jasper, the family friend, which is the hockey player, and then their cousin, um, Sloan. And Jasper and Sloan were childhood friends, um, and so we're gonna hopefully see a budding romance between the two. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm enjoying it so far, so I don't know. I've heard that this is, like, people's least favorite in the series, um, so I'm not sure what my thoughts will be when I finish, but so far I'm liking it. So far, I like, I don't like it any less than the other two. Um, but anyway, those are the, what did I say, 14? Yeah, 14 books that I read in September, which is low for me. Usually I'm upwards close to 20, so we'll see how October goes. But thank you so much for watching. If you have any book recommendations, leave them below because I love buying new books and reading new books all the time. So if you have any, let me know your recommendations and I will see you in my next one. Don't forget to subscribe. I forgot to say that. Yeah, I will see you in my next one.